Hey guys, here's a little project I just worked on. Um, this is a 50 caliber pellet mold, or bullet mold if you will. Um, basically I just used an old, you can actually still see the cavity, it's an old 54 caliber um, muzzle loading ball mold. So I just flipped it over, there's enough space to um, machine a, another cavity in there so did that and then I made this little tool here with a drill bit and it goes right in this groove right here from the bottom so then that allows um, when you cast it it has a hollow cavity in the nose of it so this would be a hollow point mold um, not bad work Let's see if I can get it to focus there it goes so essentially what I did is I drilled this out to half inch uh, with drill bit and then I um, used an old countersink that was 5 eighths and I turned it down and cut the grooves in it and then I cut the profile that I needed um, and then just basically ran the tool in to the half inch hole here. Um, and then basically pushed into the side. So I had this mold um, in the four jaw chuck. You can actually see the chuck marks on it still. But So I hope that it works okay. And then I just put this little brass pin here. Um, so that when you shut the top it just stops it right where it needs to be. Um, I'd like to do a hollow base. I could always make a little insert for that too, but it's not a big deal. This will get me um, far enough for testing it, Let's see if it will even work. So there's an easy uh, bullet mold that you can make. Obviously you need a lathe, but you can use a drill press too, I've seen a lot of other techniques. So, um, so I hope to do some testing. I need to get a ladle to dispense the lead. I've got the rest of it, so um, hopefully I'll do that tomorrow and get a video up of some actual cast bullets, and then I'll probably have to size them down a little too, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I probably should have put more grooves in it, but and maybe made these a little deeper, but that's okay. That's good enough for now, so have a good day.